Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Cortex Zero. Thank you so much for watching today. I've seen a lot of really great UFO footage over the course of my life. I'm 31 years old. I've watched a lot of UFO videos. But today I'm going to show you a particular clip that I feel is possibly the greatest footage ever taken that isn't classified, right? There's probably some gold locked away somewhere in a vault buried in the desert. But this particular piece of footage is fascinating. I have watched it well over a hundred times at this point. I've even found some pretty good analysis videos that were done. Uh, I found them on YouTube. Some were posted to Reddit. But what's really interesting here is that there's going to be two other videos that I have that are so similar to this one. One of them is from the same state. This takes place in Utah, and it's very recent, just within the last two weeks. The other footage is much older, from several years ago, and, but it's in another country. But again, we're, we're drawing comparisons between the three of them, and I think you're gonna start to notice a lot of similarities. The characteristics are shared between the three videos. The objects are similar. And also, all three were taken with drones. So let's just jump in. This footage was shot in 2016 in Beaver, Utah. The object itself is moving at a rate of speed that no aircraft on this planet can achieve. Let's just get that out of the way. We have never achieved a speed like this. Now, how do I know how fast it's going? There was an analysis video that was done on YouTube that I watched and the individual that made this video took all of the information that they had at their disposal and they took into consideration the distance from the drone to the mountain that's over in the distance there and they calculated this object to be moving at over 12,000 miles per hour. I mean, that's unbelievable speed. That's hard to wrap your head around considering we have never even achieved a speed like that. We have never done that with any aircraft. That's Mach 15. The highest speed ever achieved by an aircraft, I think in atmosphere, was like Mach 9.23. So, we're still a ways off from that yet. This object, though, didn't make a sound. No sonic boom, and it wasn't even seen by the filmmakers that were on location. They were shooting B-roll footage for a documentary. They went back to the hotel, they looked at the footage, and they just happened to notice this little blip on the screen. They decided to rewind it, and this is what they came across. You tell me, because we're gonna look at a couple more clips here, and you tell me if you see the similarities between these pieces of footage. So this next clip is from the same state. Again, this is taking place in Utah. This object that you're seeing here, it's a lot harder to make it out, but there's actually, believe it or not, two objects in this clip. The rate of speed, again, to my eye, is comparable to what was seen in the first clip. Now, as you can see here, since we're slowing it down to get a better look at it, it doesn't look like it's that large, just like the first clip. It's hard for me to estimate the size of these objects, but I mean, I can't see them being much larger than a car. I do get the impression though that they may be a lot smaller than a car also. It just depends on the angles. It's really difficult for me to come up with exact dimensions. They're moving so fast, I would really have to analyze the footage and use objects that are present in the footage for comparison. Now, I'm no expert, obviously, but I can't come up with a good explanation to debunk what I see in these two pieces of footage. There's a third one I'm going to show you, though. I can't debunk that one either. It's really just a simple eye test, too, right? I mean, if you look at these pieces of footage, there's clear similarities. You can compare them. The objects look similar, similar rate of speed, and the first two are from the same state. The same zipping motion, just they're they're very much alike and i think it begs the question what are these who is piloting them if anybody because we don't know if they're autonomous or not they could be extraterrestrial drones 
and they may have developed artificial intelligence to such a degree that it doesn't require any sort of maintenance. It, it, it may not even need to be directed. It could very well be a sentient machine. We have no idea what these things are, but it's very clear at this point that they exist. They're flying around with impunity, and there's nothing we can do about it. Now, if you're somebody who's afraid of this, I can understand. I can sympathize. This is why a lot of people don't want to approach this topic. It's not because they think it's nonsense or that they don't believe in it, right? It's the idea that something is out here in the world around us, pretty close to us, seemingly on a daily basis at this point, and it can do whatever it wants. It is superior to us, technologically speaking. At least that's what it appears to be. And we don't know much about it. It's the fear of the unknown. I mean, this is embedded in practically every human being that you'll ever meet. So with this last piece of footage, as you can see here, again, we have an object moving at an insane rate of speed. Initially, when you first watch it without the red circle, I mean, it's hard to even track it with your own eyes. I'm actually surprised someone was able to notice this and then took the footage, analyzed it, circled it, slowed it down. It's really hard to track. This particular object, again, seems to be moving, just like the other ones, straight line, moving at perhaps well over 12,000 miles per hour. But to my eye, this object doesn't necessarily look the same as the other two. It could be the lighting. It could be the quality of the footage. This was taken in South Korea several years ago, but this just was floating around on Reddit, and I'm like, wow, that looks so much like the other two pieces of footage. This is kind of like a late addition to the video. This was not initially going to be in the video. But again, we have three different incidents. Two of them are from the same state. All three of them, unreal speeds being achieved by these objects. And they don't seem to be that large either. They don't seem to be even the size of an F-16. Also, I just wanted to specifically point out the fact that the object, the first clip that we see, this Beaver Utah UFO, UAP, whatever you'd like to call it at this point, you can even see it when you zoom in on the object. It is coming over the mountains and it even disappears behind the trees that are over there. There's a tree line and the object is obscured by it. I mean, this is great evidence that we're looking at. So I don't think it's a bird. I don't think it's foreign adversary technology. I don't think it's US technology. And that really only leaves the more interesting options at this point. What else can be said? How can you debunk these? Or maybe there's something natural that we haven't discovered yet that we don't have any real knowledge of. But for anyone to come out and say that these are like weather balloons or, you know, uh, illusions, you know, some sort of trick with lighting, it's nonsense. It really is. It's a waste of time. Some people just spend their time debunking things just for the sake of doing it. And I feel like that's pretty unscientific. You know, with all due respect, there's a lot of smart people out there that may not feel that these pieces of footage are anything extraordinary, but I personally disagree with them. I respect their opinion. You know, at least when they take the time to present a really good argument, whereas some people just flat out say, nope, that's not what that is. But we don't know what it is, so you can't say that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the footage. There will be plenty of more to come down the road here. I'm going to try to get Another video a lot like this with a collection of really interesting pieces of footage up before the week is out, so keep an eye out for that. Leave a like, subscribe if you could. It helps out the channel tremendously. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. I'll catch you next time.